Breakfast is great. Everybody needs a little breakfast. After a long day of travel yesterday, we finally made it to the Hearst Ranch. We started off on Catalina Island, took the ferry across, then had to drive. Ended up getting in after dark last night. Um, so I'm just getting all the powder charges and everything loaded this morning. We're gonna shoot once just to make sure the muzzle loader's on. Then the plan is to go after Sambar early in the morning and late in the afternoon. That's by far gonna be the toughest one that we're hunting here in the Hearst Ranch special. It's huge, there are actually two ranches split. There's 150,000 acres between the two of them and a ton of elk, ton of sandbar, and a ton of odd here. Can't wait to see it this morning. focusing on these deep valleys. The sandbar like to hang out in the thick stuff, so trying to catch them just as they're walking out of the trees and on the side hills and so forth, first thing. Actually seen some odd oh, and blacktail already, so I mean, there's literally stuff everywhere. It's just a matter of time until we see our first sandbar. where it kind of all starts to flatten out and there's like little valleys with mm -hmm. all the brush. Mm -hmm. So like the highest density of sandbar are all down in that rolling part mm -hmm. with all those brushy cuts um, are all the, essentially where they live. Yep. Dawn had seen a really nice one in the back of this uh -huh. and then goes up over the other side and then that big one that Landon saw is again off the front. Gotcha, okay. On the other side of the castle. So we're underneath the castle here and it was on the other side. Okay. Target shooter? Yeah. It's 100 yards. Okay. It's safe, isn't it? We have got a box set up down there at 100 yards. Just going to shoot the muzzle loader real quick, make sure nothing got messed up in travel. Better to be safe than sorry. Ready to roll, just gonna get it 
load it up in the barrel. Be ready to rock and roll if we see a sandbar. here and it's kind of cool they have a trail that actually loops around the castle it's called the pergola mm -hmm. it's like this enclosed thing well the reason these animals are here that William Randolph wanted the guests when they're on their walk through the pergola the garden mm -hmm. to be able to see every animal of the world and he his goal was to get as many animals as he possibly could okay like he had you know polar bears and giraffes and everything and then outside that pergola, which is like pretty much just a zoo, mm -hmm. was around there. They had like a thousand acre enclosure, uh, like a high fence deal, mm -hmm. like you'd see anywhere. And in that was like their wild animal park. So they had kangaroos and zebras mm -hmm. and sandbars and camels. The, well, San Francisco Zoo is where most of it came from. Mm -hmm. And then they're brought over from where they were. You know, the sandbar were brought from India. Mm -hmm. The Audad were brought from Northern Africa. Mm -hmm. um, the zebras from Africa. And everything was kind of brought to the zoo and then brought down here. Mm -hmm. And then in the 30s, there was a big fire. And when the fire came through, it burnt the fence down. But they kind of just left it that way. Okay. And now, a little over 100 years later, um, we still have the managed populations of Sambar, mm -hmm. Audad, but yeah, so it's kind of... And that's how the Sambar got here. That's okay, how so they, they got yeah, here. They've been, they've been free ranging here for yeah. just shy of a hundred years since yeah. they fired. And, and you know, their range is probably 30 miles, mm -hmm. you know, from, from south to north, yeah, yeah. you know, a range of about 30 miles and yeah, kind of cool. just spotted a big sandbar stag about a mile away. It's just feeding on this grass hillside over there. The guys are getting their scopes out, taking a better look. It looks like it's in hard velvet, but pretty cool seeing the first one on the trip here. In a scenic background. You got the ocean in the background and then this big stag just wandering here. You can take a better look, see what exactly what he is. Got a better look at that one. And it's a good stag, it's definitely old, but we'll continue on and see what else we see. He just, for the first morning, you know exactly where he's at so we can come back to him, but we'll just continue on. He wasn't wasn't a first morning stag, it's still a great one, but we'll just continue on, go to these oh, next little good. bowls and see yeah. what's in there. It just wasn't long enough. How big is he? I don't know. He ran out in the open for a second, and now he's standing in the top of the tree. Did you think we Are scared him out of the bottom? Uh, maybe, but they're pretty far up here for you guys to scare. There's one lower that you guys didn't scare. You guys are kind of right past. Yeah. 
here head back grab some lunch it was a pretty active one I actually saw a bunch of sandbar just not a big stag that we were looking for this afternoon we're going to switch up so we're going to head to a different part this afternoon to where Don who's been glassing with us um, has seen a couple of big ones in the past so we're going to go check out that little gully tonight and hopefully turn one of them up had one that is right on the edge of a shooter like right on the edge he's right in here with us um, right where this road kind of pops out for a second kind of in the big flat that Russ shot his sandbar in he's right at the end of it kind of just walking your way so close and he's so uh, didn't run no. and he's right there yeah. and he's like like damn sure what we shoot a lot of so do I need to unzip the muzzle loader is what I'm asking? Well, yeah, I, would, I would unzip it for sure. It was surprising that you didn't request it. Listen, I was ready. I was just waiting for the, hey, this is it. Let's do it. And I'm like, okay. And then I heard he's right there. Here's the thing. I can guarantee he's number two. I don't know I'm able to get out of Very long. Yep, that's him, no bro. We'll top over and then stock down on him. Alright, bye. Well, there's a large group of hinds that just came out, and there's a big stag that just came out of the thick over there. We're about a mile, probably a little bit farther away. We're gonna head over, probably try to come down on top of him, but he looks to be a hundred percent shooter. So we're just gonna get closer and make a game plan. The wind's perfect, just coming right off the ocean here. We're gonna ease over. Should be getting set. He was in the back of the group towards us the last we saw him. Hopefully, he's still there.
stops at him. Is a giant sandbar. <laughs> Holy smokes! Oh. Man, that was awesome. We were cat and mouse right along with him. It was tough. We couldn't get any video. He actually mounted a couple of the hinds down there. I mean, full on rut. And shot was just about 115 yards. But that was sweet. We just edged right along here, and finally he came feeding out. Oh, I'm shaking like crazy. right here. He's right here. In the brush. He's right there. We found him. He went straight down. He's laying right in this bush. And of course, we've got about 10 minutes left of light, so it's going to take a bit to get him yanked out of here, but he's down and he is a giant. Holy smokes, look at this guy. A absolute toad of a sandbar here in California. So what I love about doing this North American Deer Slam, it's taken me all over being able to hunt cool things just like this. I mean, look at this. How awesome is this? Free range sandbar with a muzzle loader. That is sweet. Man. Looks like he busted this one off in velvet because it's got a funky growth to it but look how old this guy is carries his mass all the way up just an awesome sandbar We just got out here this morning. Everything happened so late yesterday. All we could do is just basically gut them, let them cool, because they got down into the 40s last night. So now we've got a Jeep up top with a winch. We're going to winch them out. It's amazing how big these sandbar are. It's walking up on it last night. You're like, wow, there's really nothing we can do right now. So came back out. Everything's perfect this morning. We're going to get them winched out of here, grab some other pics and video of them. This sandbar is a giant. I mean, an absolute giant. Can't wait to get them out and get a fully good look at him.
Oh, here he is. Everything happened super late last night, but the stalk was awesome. He fell down into a nasty canyon, so it took a little bit of work to get him dragged out today, but well worth it. This is an absolute giant free range sandbar here in California on the Hearst Ranch. I can't even express what this is. This looks to be rough scored, the new world record muzzleloader sandbar. So we'll get them back, get them officially taped out, but that is what it looks like. Awesome, awesome experience here in California. Oh.